Well, good morning. Okay, y'all, I'm on the road with doing, updating my videos and what's really on my heart to talk about. Uh, today, I want to talk about um, how to deal with uh, an incubus and a succubus spirit. Uh, the reason why I'm dealing on this subject is because I did a video about um, having a dream about an incubus uh, and succubus spirit before. And uh, I had to deal with it as far as not, not me, but in the dream, uh, a young lady was attacked by an unseen spirit. She was raped by an unclean spirit in front of my face. Okay. And so I got uh, comments from it. Of, uh, <clears throat> I didn't realize how a lot of people really deal with it. I've gotten, ooh, like over close to 4,000 views. And, and I got some comments. Uh, but somebody on there, uh, a young lady on there, uh, was reaching out to me. Uh, she said she was trying to fight it. And looked like, you know, it just keep coming back and keep coming back to her. But uh, I want to give a rebuttal to that. So hopefully she'll look at this video and it'll be of uh, use to her. But um, an incubus spirit is usually uh, a spirit that attacks a, a, a woman. and But it can attack a man in the form of a homosexual spirit. A succubus spirit usually attacks a, a man. Uh, in the form of a female spirit, okay? And so, uh, but first I want to talk about how does these things really manifest themselves? Um, how does it start? Well, y'all, we're going to come clean with it. This this going to be a subject where you got to keep it real with yourselves. For those who you want to know how to get rid of it, how you get rid of it is ask yourself, where do you think it originated? Um, whether you are a, a Christian or whether you're not a Christian, it entered in somewhere. Ask yourself, how is this thing able to keep come back visiting time and time again and look like when you rebuke it, it won't go nowhere, okay? Let's talk about various different ways that an unclean spirit can get in. Now, y'all... Let's talk about masturbation. Um, let's let's talk about the occult. If 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 you if if you're in the occult, and um, uh, and and you're inviting uh spirits in, you can't control them things and tell them what to do and what not to do. But what I do find is that with these unclean spirits, they usually come because of sexual reasons. Uh, some people. I, like I said, I don't care what's your position, high, low. If you off into pornography, that's a door that opens it too. Okay, pornography uh, opens that door to an incubus and a succubus spirit. Uh, in fact, there's a man I know, I will not tell his name, but he talked about how, you know, he had books of porn all around his house. He just, you know, it was just a pastime for him. It wasn't no big deal. It was like, Watching, you know, Days of Our Lives, Young and the Wrestlers. He ain't said that part, but I said it. But he just, he, he just liked watching porn. But he said it used to be this female demon that used to visit him all the time. And for some reason, it got to the point to where it was exhausting him because the spirit would visit him often. And when he would wake up in the morning, uh, he could see where he had semen, you know, he had, he had semen uh, on, his, on his sheets. And he, he would be asleep, but the female would come would come up on him and, and, and do what she do and ride it. And he'd wake up in the morning, you know, you know, people call them wet dreams or whatever. But he said it wasn't a dream. He could he could literally feel the action. He would be kinda like in and out. He he would be like like in, in sleep but not in sleep. And he could feel the action. And, of course, he, he admitted it, you know, I mean, of course that would feel good to a man, you know what I'm saying? But it got to the point to where it was grieving him. So, he just said a prayer. He said he wanted to see what this was. 
Well, God opened up his, his spiritual eyes. And, uh, at first, the, the woman was beautiful that would come to him. But after God opened his eyes, he saw a little short demon with a cape on. But it was a little short, little ugly demon that crawled on his bed and would crawl up under his sheet to get on him. Well, once he saw what it really was, it scared the hell out of him. <laughs> I literally scared the hell out of him. And I told him, I said, that's all that pornography in your house. <clears throat> I said, that's why that demon, <clears throat> that succubus will come and visit you. Well, I'm not, he, did, he didn't tell me the moral of his story, whether he end up uh, throwing all those books away or whether if he stopped any, you know, a uh, 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 masturbation, because usually time, if anybody watching porn, you're going to masturbate if that's your pastime. So I was saying all that to say this here, that you open up the doors to an incubus spirit and a succubus spirit through porn. Okay. And say if you don't watch porn, but you masturbate, we got to talk about this. We got to y'all. I, 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 I ain't gonna lie, I, I used to do it faithfully, you know, whenever that lust would come upon me, you know, when you ain't in a relationship, you by yourself, whether you sinner or saint, you know, Christian or not, you know, when you by yourself, you know, you that, that, that feeling of lust come upon you, you don't have nobody you with, so, you know, I, and it's not justified, and the reason it's not justified, because when you're masturbating, it's just like fornicating, you just, you just masturbating, you fornicating with yourself. But not only are you by you not by yourself, demons are right there with you. Believe it or not, you opening up that portal for demons to be right there with you. And uh, uh, I, I know it sounds crazy, y'all. And and for anybody who's my subscriber and you like Chanel, really, no, really, let's just talk, y'all. Let's now let's stop being foolish. You know, uh, whenever you masturbate, a lot of people you don't realize it, but you opening the portals. For these unclean spirits to come in. Now, for those who don't know Christ as their personal savior, just because you and just and just because you are uh, not a Christian, or if you're a Christian, spirit of lust can come to anybody, anybody, you know, uh, at, at any time. You, you know what I'm saying? You open up the door to it; it's coming in. What I will say is, as a Christian, you have the advantage in the sense that. You have to use the name of Jesus. Now, you don't have to do anything. Because some people, I've heard some people are, are liking those incubus and succubus spirit. I'm like, what? You can go on YouTube. Uh, I hadn't had a chance to research it, but I saw a title where a woman that she was marrying, or uh, 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 she wanted to marry her incubus spirit. Go figure. How lonely tune is that? You, what you married is a demon, but the demon that lied to her and, 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 and made her feel all comfortable with it, you know, and, and she's comfortable enough, enough to say she want to marry a demon. Y'all excuse me, but um, <clears throat> anyway, but the way to deal with these things is uh, you're going to have to fast. If uh, one young lady was like, how do I stop it? First of all. Give your life to Christ if you don't know Jesus. Ask the Lord to forgive you for all uncleanness. Now, that's not to say them things won't keep fighting you just because you become a Christian. That's a lie. In fact, they fight you. You know, they'll, they'll try to fight you even more because you're trying to make a stand for the Lord. And, and, and you want your body to be the temple of the Lord. Because the body said, Jesus said, invite me in. So when you, when you accept Christ as your personal Savior, you're inviting him into your house. You're inviting God. You're inviting the Holy Spirit into your temple. And the Bible tells us to keep our temple clean. And y'all, just because you're a Christian, this is going to be a fight until you go home, home to be with the Lord. We just, we're going to have to fight. I believe we have uh, times of victory. And there are times where some people get delivered and they're done with it. But there are some of those that, that it might be a fight until they go home to be with the Lord. But these are some tools. First of all, Accept Christ as your personal Savior. After you accept Christ as your personal Savior, learn your spiritual weapons. One of your weapons is salvation first. An another weapon is uh, getting filled with the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues. That's a whole nother show. I'll talk about the purpose of the Holy Spirit and 
Holy Spirit is a gentleman and, and he wants to be in your life and he wants to show you and help you because the Bible says uh, the Holy Spirit helpeth our infirmities. So when you get filled with the Holy Ghost and, and have the ability to speak in tongues, you can fight these things. I'm telling you, Holy Spirit will help you rebuke whatever that lust come upon you and you feel it, it feel is about to overtake you. Holy Spirit will give you strength to get past that temptation. Another tool is fasting. Fasting, you know, start off with one day. Fast, you know, one day or uh, without some food. Or, or give yourself three days and fast without food. Or or put, um, t t tell yourself, I'm not going to eat meats. I'm just going to eat fruits and veggies. But when you deny yourself stuff, meaning that you're, you're telling your flesh no. And see what it is, your flesh is used to a certain feeling, a certain lust. It's kind of like telling the child no when they want some candy, and you know the child get to fussing and, and throwing temper tantrums. Your flesh throw temper tantrums too, okay? So the thing is, with the Bible tells us to buffet our flesh. There are scriptures that are in the New Testament where Paul talks about buffet your flesh, meaning that say no to it. Begin to practice saying no. It's kind of like we got to practice saying no to our children until they get to the point. They really want us to discipline. And your flesh needs you to discipline it. So you have to, during a fast, you're learning how to say no to your flesh. Okay, to a bad habit. So and that, that's not to say that the devil is not going to come to you and tempt you with times of lust again. Because it's going to happen. It's going to happen. And don't condemn yourself. Just repent. Dust, the, the, uh, dust your knees off and get up. Ask God to forgive you and begin to try it again until you get victory in that area. So, you know, um, some people fa fast maybe one, one, one day uh, a week, uh, three days, or they'll do a, a 10 day fast or a 21 day fast. You know, you do what's customized to fit you, but that's going to help you begin to say no to build good habits, to say no to your flesh. Because, honey, this flesh. It's, all, it's, it's like another entity. You got a spirit, soul, and body. The Bible talks about how in the New Testament, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. So it's a fight, okay? And even men, men and women of God, you know, in, in big positions, they go through temptation too. They just, you know, God has given them the ability to, to read the word and search the scriptures, line upon land, precept upon precept. But even they get attacked too, you know? So, but... For those who want deliverance, you, if you, you know, God tells us to seek him, cry out to the Lord. And if, you know, cry out, begin to understand that it's spiritual warfare. The Bible tells us that we war not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual principalities and wickedness in high places. You know, powers, principalities, meaning demons, fallen angels. And so the only way you can fight is spirit with spirit. So you have to fight. You know, or, or use the name of Jesus. Uh, oh, that's that's another weapon. Using the name of Jesus. Jesus conquered uh, Satan and all his demons when he died on the cross, y'all. He conquered it. Took the keys of death and hell back from Satan. Took it. And he gave us, Jesus conquered sin in the flesh and gave us the ability to rebuke these demons. Cast them out. And sometimes it's a fight. But if, if those demons see that you don't get in the word, you don't fast, they're not listening to you. You have to get in the word of God, begin to fast. And when they see that you know your authority, that you know that you've been deputized to put they behind and send them straight back to hell, hey, they, they flee. See, the Bible says this kind come out by fasting. See, sometimes, you know, if you just rebuking them, don't do it. You got you got to fast. And so fasting helps you uh, uh, to, to be able to stand up in the spirit realm and resist them demons, okay? So um, I'm not going to you know, stay on that long, but um, accept Christ as your personal Savior or, or if you know Christ and you've been backslidden and you're dealing with these demons, you know, um, rededicate your life to Christ and, 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 and begin to get back into the fight, begin to fast. Begin to pray. Read God's word. Educate yourself 
on what you fighting against because what you fighting against you can't see with your natural eyes now sometimes them demons will expose yourself now i'm gonna tell you my experience uh when when i had went on my journey to stop the masturbation i'm not gonna say that the enemy haven't tempted me since then but when you go on your your journey to stop the masturbation sometimes them demons will talk to you now some of y'all might think i'm crazy some of my subscribers who listen to me, but I've, I've heard demons in my ear calling me all kind of nasty names because I stopped the habit of masturbation because see them spirits are with you. Now, I'm not saying that safe is some people be like, well, what if you marry? Can you touch yourself if you marry? Y'all, I believe that what you do and your when you marry with your husband and you, the Bible says the bed is undefiled. So if y'all are pleasuring each other or how y'all doing it? That's between that's that's it. That's between you and your a husband and a wife. But when you're by yourself and you're doing this thing, it's not that God don't want us to have sexual pleasure, or He don't. He just knows that as a single person, it, with you masturbating, you opening up the spirit world to demons to coming in. You're not just having sex with yourself. Demons are there with you, whether you believe it or not. And uh, believe it or not, I used to justify and. Why, why it was okay to masturbate as a Christian because it was hard, it was hard to stop. But, uh, when God actually opened my eyes, you know, uh, uh to uh, what I was masturbating to, y'all, it scared the hell out of me. Uh, I seen a video about, you know, uh, how people, you know, uh, don't recognize that there are demons behind this. And, uh, but like I say, you know, I, I used to hear, you know, a, a, a spirit calling me all kind of names and just, you know, just mad because I wouldn't do it, you know, uh, like, like I was just mad. So that mean if that demon was getting mad at me, that mean that spirit was present with me while I was masturbating. And, uh, so I won't tell y'all it's no easy feat because it's not, especially if you've been masturbating and you single and. And, uh, and, to, and you was okay with it. But if you're a real Christian, you, you know, I knew that after I would masturbate, I would feel terrible. I knew it wasn't right, but it wasn't easy to stop. But I would feel, I would feel unclean afterwards. And I will repent y'all. I'll be honest with you. I, I repent it. <clears throat> and this is a lot for me to confess, but it's happening <laughs> in the body of Christ. <clears throat> And Christians need to talk about it. Oh, old and young. Age has nothing to do with, with, with it. But I'm just sharing this video because I know it's a fight. But the Bible tells us to fight the good fight of faith. And uh, and, and you have to fight for your soul salvation, y'all. The enemy ain't trying to make it easy for us to go to heaven. If he can't get us to go to hell, he going to bring hell to us and fight us like hell until we go home to be with the Lord. But you got to know your weapons. And a lot of people don't want to read the word of God. You want an easy fix. It's not an easy fix. But it can get easier if you begin to use the tools of salvation. Use the name of Jesus. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you by way of speaking in tongues. Use the scriptures. Rebuke the enemy with the scriptures. Begin to fast and pray. Or uh, find you a prayer partner. <clears throat> somebody you feel like you could trust. Uh, you know, that you want to be accountable to, you can, if you don't, but if you feel like you need somebody, you know, to keep you in prayer, ask for help, ask for help, because y'all, you know, away with this religious stuff, being scared, talking about the issues, a lot of times when you expose the devil, when you expose what's going on in your flesh, I ain't saying you got to tell everything that's going on in your flesh, but there are times when you know you need help, just ask for it, ask somebody that you know loves the Lord, uh, is spiritual and they do battle. They're intercessors and just ask them, even if you don't want them to tell them what with this you say, hey, I'm having some issues in my flesh. Brother, sis, would you pray for me? Pray with me as I begin to fast and pray. See, God, I really need some help. The Bible say one to put a thousand to ten thousand, meaning spirits, spirits, demonic spirits. So when you got assistance, you know, uh, it makes the battle that much easier. So I pray that this video, uh, I'm going to shut it down now. I pray that this video has been helpful. Um, 
I wanted to keep it real. Not wanted. I, I want to continue to keep it real because I understand the battle. I understand the battle. You know, because uh, I had one uh, incubus spirit that tried to rape me. I was wide awake. I was just getting ready to lay down in my bed. And this unseen force pushed me down to, to, to the bed. I, I had my own experience. Pushed me down to the bed. I could feel his body. I couldn't see him. But it was a scaly, scaly body. And had long fingernails. And uh, and what he did was he rubbed his, his finger across my, my, the, my, my nipple. I don't want to be vulgar. And, uh, and when I said, in the name of Jesus... In the name of Jesus, then he, I could hear him say, I'll be back. And he pushed up off of me. And y'all, I, ooh, I've had demonic experiences before, but that right there, that was in my early 20s. I will say, well, maybe my, my, my mid 20s, maybe about, no, maybe about 27, something like that. And that right there was eye opening, okay? And so if I had to be honest, when I look back on it all, I had issues with masturbation. And so I guess the spirit was like, okay, hey, she's she's masturbating. I'm going to manifest myself. But see, that lets you know right there that them demons are right there with you when you're when you're performing lewd acts. You know what I'm saying? So, and I, this is not a video to condemn anybody, y'all, by any means. It's not about condemnation. <laughs> it's to help you out and to let you know that when you are masturbating, that when you are performing any type of unclean act, now you got some people who are out there into pet, uh, pedophilia, they're off into bestiality, they're off into all type of unclean, sadist, you know, s s sadistic sex. Satan is in all of that. Satan is in all of that. Those are doors that open up the doors to incubus and succubus spirits. You know, and so, like I say, some people like it. But for those who, this video is for those who want to get delivered. You want to come out that lifestyle. And I tell you, Jesus loves you. He wants you delivered. And he can deliver you. It's just all about your fight. Fight the good fight of faith. All right. For those who don't know Jesus Christ as their personal Savior, please get to know him. Accept him. Say this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus. I ask that. I say, I'm a sinner, and Lord, I ask that you forgive me for all my sins. I believe in your death, burial, and resurrection. I want to go home to be with you, Lord. I renounce my relationship with Satan, <coughs> whether, I, <coughs> whether I knew it or I didn't know it. I renounce <coughs> my relationship with Satan. Right now, Lord, I accept you in my heart. I believe that if I die this day, that I will go home to be with you. And Lord, I ask that you help me. Help me in my fight against uh, the incubus or the succubus spirit. Help me, Lord. Now that I've accepted you as my personal Savior, you said anything I ask in Jesus' name shall be done unto me. You have given me the ability to cast out demons. And Lord, I ask that you lead me, guide me, strengthen me in my walk as I grow in you. And I thank you, Lord, and I declare my deliverance. I thank you for my deliverance from this unclean lifestyle in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, for those who don't have a Bible, get, get, get you a Bible. Find you a good church. Ask God to lead you to a church. I pray that God put people in your path. To help you along the way. Ask for assistance. Don't be scared. Find you a brother and sister in Christ. That uh, that can help you. Uh, begin to desire to grow in the word of God. Find you a good church that preaches the full gospel. Of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I wish you well in your walk. As you grow in Christ. I love you. Jesus loves you. God loves you. Holy Spirit loves you. Angels love you. And remember this. Your angels are with you too. God bless you, and uh, I pray that this video blesses you, and I hope that is is uh it 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 helps you in your walk and your victory in this area. Okay, all right. God bless you.